Hey you guys, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel you guys. Welcome back to my tribers. I hope everyone is doing well today. Excuse me. Disclaimer you guys, I'm outside so you'll hear cars and things, people talking so just bear with me. Um, but I just wanted to come do a real quick video on how to become a surgical tech. So first thing is you guys, you have to go to surgical tech school. Um, I've already mentioned in other videos that I say I think you should go to a community college because the price is so much lower than going to a private college. Um, and what I mean by private college or like a vocational college is like those area, those uh, schools that you can just start any time of the year. You can just, you know, that's part of the pros of going to those colleges is that they start all year you can basically decide to go to school um one month and start within weeks but the pro the con to going to one of those kind of schools a vocational or like a private college is the price for the education now from what i can see surgical tech school is from about 20 to forty thousand dollars a year and you will get that back within the first year or two but you will be barely like making it if you decide to pay all your student loans back at one time or if you can afford it without doing student loans then that'd be great but to be to, to even get accepted into a surgical tech program you have to have completed high school and that's really it doesn't say like an age requirement but you have to have completed high school or have a ged and then once you have a GED, you decide on which um, program you want to go to. So you can decide if you want to go to a community college or, like I say, a private one. Like, And if you decide to go to a private one, what I would do to cut the cost, and I would do this even if I was going to a community college, but more so if I was going to a private college because of the cost, I would go through a company like study.com to clip out courses. I've spoken about clipping out of courses in previous videos. Basically what you do is you sign up through study.com. You have to pay. It's actually, they have a free version where you can just um, look at the courses. I think you could just go in there and look and see and look at the syllabuses and things. Just browse the website. But they also have different pay levels. One of them is like, I think $99 a month and they give you access to the study material, the syllabus and like the course outline. And if you want to take the CLEP exam, sorry guys, if you decide to take the CLEP exam, what you would do is you would pay the $200 a month fee. And for $200 a month, you get to take up to two um, courses, which is two college transferable credit courses. So if I wanted to take English Comp 1 and Algebra 1 or whatever, math, like all of the prereqs, you could do that through study.com. Now you only have to take one course, but they let you take up to two courses for the same $200. But if you pay the $200, then you could just take one course if you feel like taken to is too much but you have a month to complete the courses so for two hundred dollars if you could if you had the time you could take two courses and be finished with those two courses within a month and then you could just apply to the program once you get accepted so let's just say if it takes about six months or whatever however long it's going to take you to get into the program while you're waiting you can start taking these courses. The thing is that you have to make sure that the college that you're going to accepts transferable uh, credit. So, it, and you won't get like a grade, a letter grade. It'll be more a pass or fail. So if you're like hung up on your GPA and things like that, that this may not be the route for you. But in surgical tech schools, GPAs really don't matter as long as you just graduate and most play even like in nursing school when I talk to some of the nurses unless you trying to be number one in your class or anything like that then maybe clipping out of the course might not be the best option for you but if you're trying to cut down ties time if you're cutting down time and if you're trying to cut down costs clipping out of all of your prerequisites will be a great way to expedite the process of becoming a surgical tech and it will just make 
your um, cost of going to school lower because it would be costing you about $200 per class versus $900 or $700 that you would be paying even at the community college. So it's, um, I think it's a great option. How I would go about doing it is if I, if I was uh, looking into going to surgical tech school right now, I would look at my neighborhood and find the community colleges that's in the neighborhood. And then I would, you can look online, they have their curriculum or the program outline. They have those listed for public information. I would find the local one and or even get multiple ones just to compare and cross reference. And then I would go to study.com and take all of the prerequisite courses that are required for that program, whatever program, like we're talking about surgical tech, but it can, this can be applied to any program. So if you wanted to become a nurse, you could do the same thing. Study.com has all of the prerequisite courses that you need. And like I say, it's $200 for up to two classes. And I just think that's a great way to do it. Um, surgical tech school is also between one to two years, depending on if you're getting a associate's degree or if you're just going for a certification, like a certificate. Um, if you do the two year, and like I say, most places it's an, um, it's an associate's degree afterwards, which is great because then if you want to go back to school for something else, you can just use the same prerequisites. You know, it'll cut down time and you won't have to take so many classes if you decide to go for a different degree later, which I spoke about in other videos that most surgical techs, they, um, in order to go up to the next pay level, they end up going back to school for nursing or PA or something like that. So if you wanted to go ahead and decide later, like let's just say later on in your life, you wanted to go to school for something, at least if you went to a community college um, you can go ahead and just continue taking courses there and go ahead and get your bachelor's and your, you know, master's and things and your PhD if that's what you decide to do. But yeah, you guys, so really just the requirements of being, become, or how to become a surgical tech, like I said, the requirement is normally is for you just to have your GED or your um, high school diploma to get accepted into the program, complete the program. And then you can work as a surgical tech. At most schools, they give you the exam at the school, so you will be certified after you graduate. But even if you graduate and you don't pass the exam, you don't have to take it to work. You can still work, but it just it's a little more difficult to get positions without having the certification. I, I've noticed that the more um, that since I've had the certification, I've gotten more job offers um, as a surgical tech. So. I would definitely advise getting certified, but it's, it doesn't stop you from working as a surgical tech, even if you don't pass the certification. So really, that's all I have for you guys right now. But um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I think I've answered it, how much it costs. It's about $20,000 to 40000 in a private school. At a, um, a public or a community college, it's around ten thousand or between seven to ten thousand, which is not a bad um, return on investment. And if you do what I said by trying to clip out of the courses, it would be even less than that. And so you can decide. Let's just say you get accepted into the program, and you have to do all of these prerequisites. You can do. In order to get the financial aid, you're going to have to register for one of the classes. So register for your prerequisite class, but take the money if you get like a grant, take some of that and, and maybe go home and do a study.com course for $200 and basically your financial aid can fund your study.com course as well as your community college. So just to help you understand what I'm saying, like if I was to go to if I was to go to surgical tech school right now, I would go to my community college and look and say, okay, first I would look and see what the prerequisites were. Okay, I see that I need to have you know English, um, anatomy, I need to have some math, some biology. So I would do I would register for a class because you in order to get the financial aid, you have to be registered and go to the class. So I would register for one class or however many classes you feel like you can handle, but the whole purpose would be to register for a class to get the to get the um, financial aid and to take the financial aid money and apply that to a, uh, a curriculum on study.com so I could 
do the class at the community college at the same time as doing the class on study.com and basically knock out two to three courses at one time with about, you know, you're gonna pay more for the community college course, but at study.com, like I said, it's only $200 or up to two courses. So if you wanted to take two courses, you could take the two courses on study.com and you could take one course at the community college to, and pay for the study.com courses with the financial aid. Or if you don't care about spending your own money, then $200 a month for up to two courses is great. Now let's just say you don't finish the course in two months, then it's at your own pace, but if you finish it in a month, then that next month you can move on to the next subject. So if you don't finish it within a month, then that's fine. You just, you know, you have to pay for it until you finish it basically. So it, let's just say it takes you two months, then the next month they're still gonna charge you $200. So it's to your benefit to finish the course within the month so you can move on to the next course. But I'll do a review on study.com because I, um, I think it's great not just for surgical tech school, but if you are if you know of a homeschool kid that's in high school, while they're in high school, they can also simultaneously take courses on study.com. So by the time they're finished with high school, you can really set the kid up to have a bachelor's degree or at least associate's degree by the time they're out of high school. And even if they're not in a um, homeschool environment, if they just go to regular high school, they can still do this. You can just say, okay, if you know, if your kid is motivated enough, they can just go online on study.com during the summer and take these courses. You know, it's gonna take about four to six weeks so they can take that, take the courses and then have the rest of the time to do the rest of the school year to do their regular schoolwork. But if you wanted to help speed up the process to your kids, either having their associates or bachelors faster and cutting down costs for them to go to college, then this is also a great way to do it. I'll talk, like I said, I'll do more of a, of a review on study.com at a later time, but this is basically, sorry guys, this is basically just to give you surgical tests and people that have well, not a surgical test, but people that are considering going to surgical test school, a way to do it without breaking the bank because you will always hear me say, I think it's too expensive, or cosmetology school, excuse me. Surgical test school is way too expensive in the private sector. So, and because people know that it's in demand, they're gonna keep the price, you know, as what it is, but there's ways around it and this is one of the ways. So if you have any questions, you guys feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll, I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.